At the start of the 2012 season, the footy show set out to tell the story of Tim and Johnny Manor, two of four brothers from a tight-knit Lebanese family growing up in the western suburbs of Sydney. This was to be a story of them joining forces and playing together at the Parramatta Eels. But then came a twist that no one expected. These boys had no idea how strong their bond would become and what lay ahead of them. You know, me and Johnny are only 18 months apart. And, you know, we grew up together really close, um, we were like best mates growing up and you know, not much has changed over the years. Growing up together we played you know, most, of it, most of our footy together and I think that's what, something that helps strengthen yeah. our, um, our friendship as brothers and um, I think that's something that we've still got today which we're, we're pretty lucky to, to retain. To be able to play in NRL was one thing, to be able to say you're playing in the competition in, in Australia as well as your brother was made it so much more special. And, um, you know, we both made it the same year and we're kind of living, you know, living the dream. We're just loving every day and enjoying life at the stage. And yeah, looking back now, it's probably you know, one of the best times of our lives. But the boys' NRL dream was soon to come crashing down. A persistent back injury to Johnny sustained while at the Sharks refused to heal. And a CT scan revealed enlarged lymph nodes and hot spots, which are often an indicator of cancer. See, and they cut me open and, and took one of the lymph nodes out. And you know, a week later they came back to me results and sure enough I had um, Hodgkin's lymphoma. I, um, the first thing I did when I got told was I looked over at mum just to see um, you know, how she was going to react and, and she, she stayed strong and she, um, I think that helped me accept the news a bit easier because of how well, um, how well she, she did. And um, I think that, that made it a lot easier for me actually. And um, She was someone I could lean on and, and someone that was always there for me throughout the whole thing. But in the next few days from there, it sort of it became reality and I was back in hospital receiving treatment. And that's when it all, you know, started to become a reality for me. When he had, got told he had cancer, um, I think at the very start, you start thinking the worst, thinking, well, how bad is a cancer? And, you know, is it too late to do anything about it? And, you know, you have so many questions going through your head and that's, that's scary when you get told about at the start. Um, I think the toughest, the toughest thing I had to do was to call my called my dad on the way home and um, breaking the news to him over the phone was was pretty hard, it was a pretty hard thing to do because he, he didn't get to hear all the um, the things the doctor got to explain, he just had to hear that over the phone his son had cancer. He so loved that you know no one wanted to see him go through a tough time and when they realised that he's going to be going through some tough times um, I think everyone was kind of didn't know how to handle it. Dur during the treatment and um, you know times throughout it when I you know, was uncertain about a lot of things. You know, my mind wandered here and there, and I was, you know, wondered if I would ever, ever be able to play football again, which I wasn't sure of. But you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of good things that come out of it. And I think I learned a lot of lessons, and you know, how fragile life can be, and you know, we don't all have as long as we think sometimes on, you know, on this planet Earth. Good news was on the horizon for the Manor family. After seven months of treatment, Johnny finally got the news he dreamt of receiving. When, when I got the phone call to, to be told that I was in remission, it, I just couldn't believe that it was all over, just because I wasn't sure. You know, the uncertainty in my mind throughout the time is what, you know, hurt me the most mentally, and to, you know, to know that it was all over for, for that time anyway was just a, a big relief. It was probably one of the ha greatest moments I can remember. Um, I remember I was at training, it was just a normal day at training at Paris Stadium, and, I got a phone call this time, it wasn't a text, it was a phone call and he basically said I'm on the way home from the doctors and just, just been given the all clear and I think I'm pretty sure I hung up on him pretty quickly after that and I was high five and the boys at training. The relief that day was you know, unbelievable and I remember I just had this big grin on my face, big smile on my face the whole day and um, even now just thinking about it, it just kind of makes me realise um, how, how much of a great moment that was. Waiting to finish this story, we went into a two-week holding pattern as Johnny's health suddenly deteriorated. Keeping in constant contact with the boys, we knew Johnny was unwell. But when the results were returned from the most recent of his checkups, the news no one wanted to hear became a reality. Johnny's cancer had returned. I had a couple of tests and scans and it turned out I had a relapse of the lymphoma that I had back in 2009. Um, going, going through this, something like this, second time around, I don't think it gets any less scary. Um, it's, still, it's still got the um, chances of what could happen to you and, and what can't. Yeah, the, the weeks leading into the Johnny being, Johnny's relapse, um, 
you kind of see a bit of a physical decline and you know, obviously living with Johnny, you know, I could see you know, the pain he was in at home and um, just, you know, he was losing a lot of weight. So it was, it was a bit of a worry at the start and um, you know, we, had, we had to keep it a bit of a secret for a few days. And you know, I've, I've been through it before, I kind of I kind of know what to talk, know, know what to expect this time around and I think that might um, you know, make it a bit easier on, on me mentally and that's not to say I've, I've got it all all there, I'm, you know, I'm just another, another guy going through cancer and you know, it's, it's not an easy thing, but I think that's where you know, my faith in God is really helping me and giving me the strength to get through what I've got uh, to get through. I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm, I'm doing okay. I've just got to you know, take baby steps now and day by day do what I have to do. Oh, we've, still got, we've still got some one-on-one -on -one for you to play against each other. <laughs> I just want to be on the same team. I've dominated him for years, so I don't think so. <laughs> that backyard, I've owned that for a long time. Well, I, I, I don't know, as we're playing footy together at, at, a, at the top level, I can't really say, you know, for sure now. I, I don't know, really, really know if I'll, you know, play footy again, I'm not sure, but um, I'd definitely love to, and um, if I'm able to, I will.